This is a true story from Brian Bain about an Audad hunt that he and some other guys, only the places and names have been changed to protect identity. So here we are, we're driving from Laughlin, Nevada. First which all. case, Brian Bain won first at. And now he's gonna tell us, our viewers, a little hunting story. For the viewers so, that don't know, Brian, maybe you can explain what an odd dad is. Okay, so we're odd dad sheep hunting, which is a uh, exotic goat, some sheep cross. And I got long horns or whatever, and I'm in uh, South Texas. And uh, we get into some sheep, and I sneak out on this point and get above them, probably 150 yards from them, 120 yards from them. And another guy, won't name names, was up on the other ridge, and he was supposed to get around and, and then we take a shot and kind of have him trapped there. Well, he lost where I was at and uh, come over the hill and were you in a ghillie suit? I was in a ghillie suit, so it was impossible to see. I should have been wearing hunter orange. <laughs> um, and so he had a uh, semi-automatic machine gun, AR-15. Went to letting bullets loose, and when he started shooting, all the odd had run up the hill to me. And about the time the odd ad got about 20 yards from me, the bullets started hitting right beside me. So I didn't want to stand up and get too exposed, so I just rolled over the, I was right on the top of the hill, I rolled over the other side of the hill until the shooting stopped. Well, some odd ad run off the hill to me, so I shot four of them, laid them down, and uh, you know, there'd been some silence for probably five minutes, so I crawled back up the hill, and I just got back up to where my pack was at, where I was laying, and uh, all of a sudden I heard this whop, and a bullet hits a tree about three feet from me, and here comes about four more bullets, so I drop behind this rock in the fetal position, because I didn't have time to get over the other side and the bullets are ricocheting all around me, everywhere. It's taking on friendly fire. Uh, he finally ended up finishing off his 30 round clip. And I laid there, um, I didn't wet myself, but I almost did. I laid there for a little bit longer until finally I kind of peeked my head up over the top and realized that he, where he was at, and he'd moved and the odd ad that were standing there had, had left, so. Yeah, it was my near-death experience about two weeks ago in South Texas, but uh, you know, I'm here, I'm alive, and that's all we have to say about that. For the record, I was not in South Texas, <laughs> nor did I have an AR-15. <laughs> Jason, would you like to elaborate on anything? I was not in South Texas, and I was not carrying an AR-15, for the record. So, will you go on an odd ad hunt again? I would love to go on an odd ad hunt again, but uh, I'm probably going to wear some hunter orange and maybe have radios the next time I go. So, it'd be safe to say that you're a proponent for hunters wearing blaze orange? Well, in situations like that, yeah, probably. <laughs> Better than taking on friendly fire? Yes, yes, because it could have very well been me instead of that tree. I, actually, I, I was terrified. I didn't know what to do. Very helpless feeling. What was your last thought, if it had been your last thought? Um, probably would have had some foul words in it, because I wasn't real happy at the time when I was laying there in the fetal position with the uh, bullets hitting all around me. You know they're getting close when they're they're whistling and there's they're hitting the rocks that close to you. It's uh, and you hear them before the gunshot. It's it's kind of uh, eye opening to uh, a lot of things. Right, right. You have a new appreciation for our troops overseas. I yeah, they they're amazing to put up with that stuff every day because uh, just once of that is, is enough for me and he wasn't actually shooting at me so um, yeah I have a lot of respect for the troops overseas. Moral
world, the story would be to don't hang out next to the odd ad in a ghillie suit <laughs> when you're hunting with a, a loose cannon with an AR-15. Yes, yes, it's safer to, instead of getting close to them, shoot from long distances. If you have somebody whom you're not sure of, give them a musket loader. Yes. <laughs> know your hunting partners. Till next time. This is Ron Burgundy. You stay, <laughs> you stay classy, San Diego. You stay classy, San Diego. You stay classy, America.